those clothes right there. Yeah, I know. Were you going to say anything else, or when you asked, when you said, can I see you for a minute? I could just see a Lamborghini go by. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it's a Z car. If you wish to medicate it. With that, in a $2.50, you can get a cup of coffee. With and what? With that Z. In $2.50, you can get a cup of coffee. Or a half a gallon of gas. Or two dollars and fifty cents, well, you can't get anything. Yeah, the dumpsters there, that's pretty cool. Man, what if they're going to put all the water bottles in there? A nickel a piece. Yeah. I like mine. Mine, look. Cool. Well, I love you. Yeah, you get cut. 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 How many of you? One, five. How could there be six? Six? Seven. <laughs> My golly. Let's see how high can count. Oh, had eight earlier. That's I've never seen eight. Six. Five. Wow. <laughs> How does that work? That's, they put that up so that we can go there, see at night. 
into the under the tent through the gates there. And it's the hill. Oh, right. Yes. Now. On the grass. Da -da -da. Sure is nice to have an occupier that will do that sound and everything like for Jimmy's speech. So you don't have to hire out or always be wondering. You know, an occupier is a little bit more interest in a situation rather than talk to a stranger every time. Yes, where have you heard of Occupy Portland? And the marathon is tomorrow. Yes, we hope to get uh, emergency blankets that they receive on completion of their tour. I thought you would stop here and get out. I'm just clear <laughs> the please. I thought you were coming out for us. Yeah, that would have been a neat march, but my foot would give me problems. Well, uh, here's Lewis and Clark, students. Well, we have yeah, people. Yeah, but we here. cannot watch over because what they do is they say, "Well, you can't carry it all, so therefore we're taking it because that person is here." And, um, and that's right. the yeah. So I can carry all mine, but I told them I said I can't carry anything, so I'll have my hands. Right. right. So I make sure that they know that. Well, my experience over the last few months. Piles don't look like the demonstrations; they look like nests. So if we have four people stuck stuck together. I'm trying to get somebody. Up in, oh, um, hold on, feel free to be still up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you guys know that we just saw the, the riot squad on a truck, on an ice cream truck, riding toward uh, Front Avenue from uh, 4th down Madison. So they just passed 4th Avenue. There was two of them. A ton of cops. So uh, can you please get back to me on whether or not you guys have that information and get it to the, to the march leaders, please? Let me know if you're hearing me. Okay, we're almost done. We heard uh, music and stuff approaching yeah, Shemansky again while I was still at Shemansky. So, but it was only 2.10 or so on the paper that had the march route. It said 1.30 to 3.15, which it's already 3. So I guess the moment that it goes unpermitted, we can expect problems. I don't know. There's a. What is up on OPD? Oh, yeah. Joe Freeman. Good. There's a wobbly event at, you know, the park by Lloyd Center. What are you doing right now? Can you not ever do that? Or this? 
really bad on my screen. Because all this resolution is gone. It looks like a big blur. Yeah, panning slowly, no problem. But if you pan like this, it just cuts the picture out. pin for occupying. Oh, that's cool. We'll go perfect with my jacket. Ah, Got some pins over here. That looks beautiful. Do you want to occupy? Oh, cool. Pick a color. Oh, you should get the green. That sounds like a winner. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. You don't want one? Let me get it. No. I do. I'm not sure. Red, uh, red and black. Uh, it's a, it's a, part of a short, short door that I bought. Um, yeah, you're the, I'm not sure if it's a you if I don't want to that one, you don't end up all over it. So when they're done talking, I'm going to tell Joe and Joe. You, you you're like a general man. You want to, um, you want to, um, uh, um, fly fishing hook for your hat? My dad oh, made a bunch. Sure. Yeah. It's been there like 20 years, but I got a, a thing of them on my backpack. Sure. Casey. That's something funny. So Ernie's watching and he's like, so, uh, what is it? He was saying, X rated? No. No. Oh my gosh, Robert! Hi! So he, he says, uh, so Joe's been kind of incognito for decades, that's what he said. Oh yeah, I was taking a horoscopes have to take a few days off. How many days would that be? What's that? How many days? Three days. Three it's days. It's sad. How many days did you take? I don't know. He was saying that... But I was yelling at people, too. Lost my temper. Need, uh, well, I was talking about... Wow, uh, look at that. Yeah, my dad made these. He's been dead like 20 years, but I found him in some of my I'll stuff. Tell me, I'll tell you my joke later. So you can pick one. Here, one pick. Not a big joke. I like doing them out one day. This person, you know, just got spread around. He passed away. Yeah. That's kind of cool because it's kind of like, 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 Dang it, you guys, if you're watching and you can text us, uh, how long ago was that? Ten minutes ago? So I'm sure they're there now. Not, not, not new news now. Oh my gosh, look at that. Every Sunday, I volunteer for the last five, six years for Dave and Mary. And Dave did it over 20 years now. Going on 21 years this year, and Dave be at the O'Brien Park every every Sunday at three o'clock. If people need food, and we fed over 750 people last Sunday. So at O'Brien every Sunday, three o'clock. Okay. And he never missed a day out of the year to be a, a home and people need food really bad. And I volunteered for the last five years. I started with him up on Salmon Street in 91. And I was the, most, the first one to get fed by Dave and everybody. So I need to sew this. No, you stick it through your and her friend, Mary, came in like four or five years later and started helping us 
and feed people. Yeah, on the bill. And everything. All I know is that Right now, rookies are in the pocket of the treasure box. Did you see anything over there, guys? They didn't want to let us into the park, but. Well, you know what's going on down there? Said I was, yeah, I was you, taking a few days off. Well, he was talking about a few decades, like a couple decades of being gathering. Well, I came back summer. with. Paper where you get the street paper from the home ec people to oh. put me in there. I kind of I used to be a home ec back in early 90s, and they put me in there doing a lot of volunteer work on Sunday, helping old Brian Park and everything else. And they put me in there. I kind of they thought. I worked really hard to help the homeless people out and try to give them better the right direction and all. And I knew my way around. And I kind of like riding buses a lot and everything else. Street you know, I, I don't really need to be out here, but I like to be out here. I kind of my health wise, number one. Yeah, and being in the four-way wall and everything, air will help my health and everything. Was that recently you worked with O'Brien? No, I still volunteer work. How long ago? Five, six years ago. Oh. Helping see on Sunday at yeah. 3 o'clock. And anybody needs food, you can go there and get food. I know, that's good. Dave wanted to put it on. You know Dave. Um, he wanted to charge with a green truck. Oh, yeah. That's Dave. Yeah, that thing was broke. He did it in 20 years. Wow. And that's really great. And I, I stick up for that guy. You know, he did it so many years and put up with homeless people and everything else. Yeah, I thought. I thought I saw My health wise, right now. I'd be better off to be out here than be in a say uh parking contract. I thought I saw you picking stuff up one day over there. Yeah, I mean yeah. street use. Yeah. Paper. I did in there. Okay. It said 
4 o'clock, Carl, get, get up at 4 o'clock and get ready to go to work. Yeah. It's at 4 o'clock in the morning. What catch me doing that? I leave about 4.30, <laughs> 5 o'clock every morning. Go to work. And I tell you what, every Monday I'm there. You see, they're talking about federal. We do a lot of federal sites. Federal? Yeah. Or federal. Oh, is that another way to say it? Federal, you know, or governor work, and federal work, and state work. We do all of that in this company. So who's paying us? A governor is paying us. They don't pay us enough. Yeah, I think they should just, I mean, all these companies that hire people all the time, they shouldn't discriminate if you're, like, homeless or low... That's low, why low a lot of people that are homeless. You yeah. have jobs, the governor is paying them, you don't pay them enough. Yeah. Uh, kind of live yeah, on, live on. Your wife and your children, you know, pay for them. And, Gas price is going up, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not because the person's a bad person. Food, go, yeah, food price is going up so high. That's why a lot of people who got a home, they go to O'Brien. Yeah. They get something to eat at the end of the month. Yeah, because the food stamps don't last. Food, food stamps, hell. They don't help that long. Yeah, supplemental, they call it. Yeah. You're supposed to buy other food to go with it. And, at the end of the month, we get a lot of people in that part. I know. Last year, we figured out uh, how many people were going to be at our Christmas party. Last time, there was like 600, 650 or something. How many were going to be at a Christmas party last year? Up to YWCA. We figured over 900. I told them it would know, be way over that. They got most of the thousand people. Of food. That's awesome. I just, and I worked on a little carton off for two days up there the YWCA. Help them to set up and tear down. I didn't leave Sunday, Monday morning at 4 o'clock. Tear it down. When we slept, when we sleep, we find anything that's scattered around, we clean it up. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, I appreciate that because I eat there sometimes. At the O'Brien, you know. And that's why you see us having that time. You know. It's great. You guys come. I look out for my homeless people. And I look out for people who are really hurt me. I look out for people like Wolf Sherman. Uh oh. Like uh, oh. Obama. Obama, another one. Grant Obama, another one. I love him. He's looking for out the health care. The health care plan. He's looking out for children. They need a little help, like family, you know, health care. Oh, Obama is a good guy. Obama? He's looking for help the little family. Go ahead. I can always go back. Don't mess with him. They said they're training, they're not doing it. Training? Yeah. Don't mess with him. There's real cool that's people. Why yeah, that's why they're going that way. They're not going to Austin. He got me about five times. And I had no problem with him. Yeah. Right. I, I thought they were here because they were occupied, but I guess not. No, they're out in training. They're horses. I know my horses. See, we got to be careful, too, that we don't automatically, because we're so used to being discriminated against. That sometimes they're not discriminated against the arm. And so we show aggressiveness. And their aggressiveness comes back to a street. Kindness results in kindness. Fighting results in fighting. So to fight back, 
I personally believe it doesn't help. But to show love when someone's fighting back, who wants to beat up someone who's nice? You know what I mean? That's the best way to win. Oh, yeah, my other win back. the hearts yeah. of your neighbor. Go you know deeper. what I mean? Is how you stop. If you're always fighting with your neighbor, your neighbor's going to fight with you. You know, but it started with them and corporate law, corporate laws that were passed by corporations that funded it. Damn. 